the Hunter Classics Amateur Women's Tour, the fourth stop of the year. Um, we have usually seven stops every year. The largest, longest running amateur women's tour in the country. This is our 11th year. And uh, we have the lowest entries, the highest payouts. Uh, we have people come from all over the, actually all over the world. We the Hunter Tour is a stepping stone to be able to become a professional player. Bonnie Plowman, I'm from Calgary. Been playing pool about nine years. And uh, just want to get involved in WPBA, which is hard to do from, from Canada. We only have a couple qualifiers a year. So I'm making some road trips. How did you feel coming into this tournament? Well, I'm nervous. It's my first event, and I've kind of been low-key, so not a lot of people are going to know I'm in town. So I want to do well, of course, but I'm nervous. They actually call me the Florida Flash. Oh, the Florida yeah, Flash. Yeah, there you go. That is always in, you know, from the shirt. I can definitely tell why. Yes, exactly. Yeah, there you that's go. That's right. That is brilliant. There you go. Do you I'm use actually... that as part of your strategy in any way, shape, or form? Well, yeah, actually I do, because I... Um, I got the nickname from Buddy Hall, who's a world uh, world class pool player. He's won many world oh, championships. Yeah, Sign my case. Exactly. You know who Buddy Hall is. When I was uh, 17, I would run around the pool hall and I'd had hair down to my waist, and I would not have my shoes on. I didn't like shoes, but I had these wild socks. So one day he looks at me and he says, "Hey." Flash, where are you from? And I said, Florida? And he goes, you're the Florida Flash. And ever since then, when I play, I want to embody that spirit, you I know? I almost hear Buddy Hall through you. Yeah, he does. He, he says that I belong on a haystack somewhere, but that's okay. I love him for that, awesome. you know? You know, I got to see Willie Moscone and Willie Hoppy, and I got to see all the really, really good old-time players. That's awesome. You know, like I said, I played the Not game for about three years, yeah, and then I then I went on a different path in life, you know? But this is... This is a path that I the, that my spirit wanted to be on. Leslie Ann Rogers from Arlington, Texas. With a husband whose name is also? Also Leslie. Also Leslie Rogers. And uh, together with uh, Randy Gottlicker, we own and operate QTech uh, Billiards Academy in Dallas. Is there anybody else that uh, you two are really looking at to be high competitors in this tournament? In this tournament, actually, there's several. Uh, Rachel Hurst from Austin mm -hmm. always, always competes well. Uh, we have a player from Florida. Uh, Ellen Van Buren, and one I think from Canada, Bonnie Plowman, who is okay. a very strong competitor. She's not played in any Hunter events before, so we're we're kind of looking forward to see how she'll do right. in this tournament. Um, I think a uh, little bit of nerves got to me. Started missing balls. I don't mind missing balls every once in a while, but I did it a lot. Okay. Key is just not to get down on yourself. I'm famous for being hard on myself, so I'm trying to take things a little lighter and just forget about it, just move on. I mean, people win tournaments all the time, never losing a match, so I just have to not lose a match. <laughs> this is my my uh, fifth year of coming back to playing pool. I played 28 years ago, like before you guys, before they had video cameras, I was playing pool. And I actually played in the World Open in Baltimore. I came in third. And Gene Belucas was first, uh, Carla Bogus was second, and then I went and I did life. I had a career and a family and I moved on. I made it to my first WPBA event in Peoria last month and it was really nice because I walked into that venue and instead of being nervous because I was with the pros, my spirit was like, whew, we're finally here. You know, because I've been waiting 28 years to get there, even though I hadn't been playing pool all that time. It was in 99 or 2000, I won the Canadian Eight Ball Championship, which is one of the qualifiers that Canada gets. and. I was, uh, luckily, luckily enough, that, that year they had a lot of sponsors, so they actually flew me down from Toronto to the event and paid all my entries. It was, it was quite a big prize. The second year when I won, the, one of the sponsors had dropped out, so uh, I didn't end up going. It was way too expensive. Pros, that's what they do. Their job is to play pool. They play pool for 10, 12 hours a day like it's their job. They get up in the morning, they go and play pool. We were talking, and we weren't talking about making shots. We were talking about why I play. Like you asked me yesterday, mm -hmm. what's the motivation? Mm -hmm. And for me, it was that dream that I thought I had lost. You know, when I was 17, I told you I came in third in the World Open and then quit playing, you know? And so for me, it's just the pure love of the game, you know? Awesome. And, yeah. and especially because this is really important. This qualifier is in my home state. And it's you know it's it's uh, it's it's run and operated by my sponsors and I would just love to go and be able to to represent them the Seminole Tribe of Florida there. Just got done with your last match, went Hill Hill. Yep. Who is that against? Stacy Jackman. Stacy Jackman is another strong contender. Yeah, she way. double dipped me. She beat me yesterday too oh, on goodness. the hill. So. so. I felt really good actually today. Felt really good today, but I made a few more mistakes than she did. I had tons of chances, and 
yeah, unfortunately it came down to one lucky shot that was a decider, so it was a good match, though. And what place did you get? Fifth, six. When I was a kid, my first pro tournament, I asked him, you know, would you please go and watch me play? And he said, no way. Those women would have to be naked before I'd come watch them play. Oh, wow. Because the only reason why he said that is because I wasn't ready. And so uh, eight years go by, and I guess I'm ready now. Who are you looking at in this final eight? Uh, well, considering I've helped Julia Gabriel, uh, we worked out for about six and a half hours two days ago. So, and I feel like I helped her a little bit with her game. So that's who I'm, I'm thinking is going to win it. Feeling kind of kind of riled up still. Oh, yeah, so a little shaky. you got to take a little, a little bit of little time. too much adrenaline. Are they going to let <laughs> you get a little bit of time? I'll probably have about five minutes, maybe ten, if I'm lucky, before they start the finals. Uh, you know, time to maybe have a bite to eat. Julia and Ellen were the last two in who had paid for the qualifier. And so Ellen being out of it means that Julia has it automatically, no matter the result of the final match. Well, that's awesome. So Julia Gabriel is going to the WPBA. She's going to Hollywood, Florida in September. I've been focusing on discipline, making sure I watch where the ball is supposed to go and watching the, the ball I have to make go into the pocket. Yeah, I've won events before though, don't get me wrong, I've competed for 10 years, won a lot on bar boxes, but now, nine foot tournaments, I don't win those, but today, I, this weekend, I was playing like a winner. Okay, so <laughs> now we have the competitor here. Don't scare me. Leslie Ann Rogers and uh, Julia Gabriel. And uh, Leslie, any closing words? Grrr. <laughs> That's a big word. It is. It is. It's a long one. Um, you know, we both shot well. We both made some mistakes. Um, she was able to capitalize off my mistakes a little bit more. She's been a champion for years on this tour, <laughs> and I've never beaten still her. Still am. Still am. I'm hanging on to that points lead. Yes. Three years running and I'm going strong. She's a leader. She is a leader. So um, yeah. it feels good to, to stay close We're both trying to get on you. the pro tour. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm glad it came down to us. I know. You're so <laughs> What is it about the game that keeps you so interested? It's the hardest game I've ever played in my life. I'll tell you, for me, it's there's something very personal between me and my stick and the table. And it's, it's really the purest form of individual sport. I would love to play on the Pro Tour. I would love it. But I have a lot of learning to do. A lot. But that's the neat thing about pool. You'll never, ever be done learning at it.